Ahoy there, I'm Tony Pirate and this is 2 Minute Mods, and today we're looking at the Near Future Technologies mod. Well, 5 mods to be precise. There are 5 core mods in the Near Future pack, and Ccam will chuck in another couple more supporting mods for good measure. Before we get started I have to say that I'm surprised it's taken me this long to do an episode on this mod series, as it really is just the kind of mod that tickles my fancy. Let me also say there's no way I'll be able to do this mod series justice in only 2 minutes. This episode really will be a once over lightly. Go check out the mods yourself later at the link in the description. So what do you get in the 5 mods? Well you get a bunch of new engines, electrical parts and solar panels, new construction and strut parts, and a couple of new capsules as well. And best of all, when you install the series with CCAN you also get the community tech tree changes to support these great new parts. I find this particularly helpful because when a mod introduces a bunch of new parts, figuring out how to use them and which parts to use when can be a bit overwhelming. By putting the parts into the tech tree you can take them in bite sized chunks. So let's take a quick look at the parts. First up, the new engines. There are a range of interesting and useful engines, and since we're short on time I've stuck all of them that I can on this rocket here. Oh dear. The engines include high thrust electric engines, argon xenon and hydrogen engines, and my favourites are the low profile engines that are ideal for landers. The new electrical system parts include batteries, nuclear reactors, fuel and processors for these, as well as radiators. Useful parts if you're planning to run any of the advanced electrical engines. Particularly handy are the capacitors which will slowly accumulate power and let you dump it back into the system quickly when you need it. The fourth pack we'll look at is the near future solar set of parts. There are lots of bits in here, so again I've shoved them all on a single craft so we can admire all the solar panels opening at once. Don't they look great? Finally let's talk about the construction and spacecraft packs. Collectively they offer you an amazing set of struts, connectors, capsules and animated service modules and landing legs that will serve every purpose you can imagine. The parts look great and really help flesh out what is otherwise a fairly limited part set in the base game. In conclusion if you want to give your Kerbal Career Games new goals or you just want a whole bunch more awesome bits to play with then the near future pack is one you should check out. I've been Tiny Pirate, this has been 2 Minute Mods.